Hello friends. I Tomorrow is December 1st and I am getting ready for December daily. I didn't make one last year so I'm really excited to work on one this year. I am going to be working in a traveler's notebook size insert this year for the first time. Uh, I'm going to go through the things I bought this year first and then show you what I pulled from my stash and then go from there. So I, the only kit that I bought, well not the only, but the kit that I bought was from Studio Calico and um, it has pre-printed pre -printed pages. So um, I could just kind of quickly flip through it. And I'll also, I'm planning on putting in some tip-in pages and um, the ones I don't like, I can also cover with paper. Like, I'm not sure if I 100% like this green. Um, and also this side, if I want to put pictures. Um, and is, I'm planning on it being kind of a mix between some, like, traditional kind of scrapbooking pages and also, like, journaling style. Um, kind of like some, like, travelers, travel journals that I've made. So, anyways, this is my base. Um, the Studio Calico kit also came with this washi which I really like because I kind of based this, um, I use this as kind of things in terms of things I pulled from my stash. Um, this is the stamp kit that it came with. And then this is some gold fun uh, embellishments. And it also came with some red vellum stars and I'm sorry, I can't find it right now. I'm just pulling everything out, but um, hopefully it will all I mean, hopefully I'll find it sometime before tomorrow, maybe. Um, anyways, for the cover, I was thinking about using the washi strip here. And then I got this wooden shape from Target at the dollar spot. So I was going to do this. And then I got this bow in a happy mail a few years ago so I was gonna do that put the washi and then maybe put like 2019 in some small alphas that's gonna be my um, cover or my plan for my cover and then I also got a 6x6 paper pad from Michaels the Miss Claus so um, some of these you know don't match but some of them I really like so I'll be using Sorry, that was a fast flip. And then the other thing I bought, I got some digital files from In a Creative Bubble. So I already cut them out. Um, they were I got two, two of the like five that they had. So this is the um, what do they call it? Elements, and I cut them out. And then, and I thought these squares were cute. Maybe I can do like a grid kind of type layout on one of my pages. And then I got some, a one page of journaling cards and mostly cause this guy is so cute. So these are the ones and I cut all of them out. Like I know this won't fit, but maybe if I trim some of it, well, this one I could just cut out as a graphic. And this one, maybe I can kind of like cut some of it I don't know or even just use this part um, and then from oh the other thing I got from Studio Calico were these gray labels so I am not a huge fan of gray but in this insert I feel like grays would match it's just like with the pink so I'm kind of excited because I pulled out some gray stuff um, from past Christmas that um, I wasn't a huge fan of, but I got these from Studio Calico. And then these were on sale at Freckled Fawn, so I just got these alphas, because how could I not buy alphas? Because I'm such an alpha addict. And then from Target, Dartle's Dollar Spot, I got these three stickers, mostly for Happy Mail, but I got some of them, like, you know, this one I would just use one somewhere. Um, but these I thought were cute and somewhere I'd like to use this. And then I got these clear um, tags slash like 
labels from Michaels. Have any of you guys used them? I don't know how exactly I'm using them, but I thought I would try. Um, I just ordered vellum paper, so um, and vellum glue, which I've never had, so <laughs> I needed that. So um, yeah, but we'll see. I'll see um, how it goes. If any of you have tried them, I'd love to get some feedback or you know things, tips that you may have. And then the rest of the stuff, so I tried so hard not to pull too much stuff, but of course I pulled out quite a bit. <laughs> but I'll go through that with you guys. Um, so these are all mostly from past kits. These are some cards I just pulled out from past Ali Edwards kits and also um, L Studio. L Studio. And then... This is also from L Studio. These two are from the same kit. And then this one from two years ago, I think, came in an Ali Edwards kit. It's kind of like a notepad. Um, and I, I know these would be even cuter on um, like a, you know, three by four card or something, but I still love the way this looks. Even though it's so simple, it's really, I'm really excited. Um, and then these also from the Ally Edwards. And these diamonds, like, I, again, I didn't have vellum glue. So this year I'm going to use them. And again, there's, like, gray. So I feel like they all kind of match a little bit of the tone of my insert. And then some tags. This was, like, from a cut apart um, that's more, like, faith-based. So um, I grabbed those. And then for these embellishments, oh, these were some like gift tag, I mean, gift card envelopes that I also got from Target Dollar Spot. They're kind of thick now that I think about it, but I thought it might be cute to, you know, tuck things in because um, it's already, you know, like a envelope. And then these are just some random things I got, I pulled out. Um, this is a set of tags that I got from Michaels this year. Oh, and then also tag um, package. I pulled out one from Michael, uh, not Michaels, Target. And then this one I got from a friend um, and I'm planning on going to eat some s'mores. Wow, it's really dark. I'm sorry. Okay, now I'm debating if I should film the whole thing over, but all my stuff's in piles. Okay. I'll try to, I'm sorry, if you're still watching, I'll try to uh, make it more light. It's just really rainy and cloudy out. Okay, so this I thought was super cute. I've never used it, and uh, I'm going to be eating s'mores with a friend, so I'm going to use it for that day. This is a, a tag I received in Happy Mail last year, and so I thought it was also cute. And then just some plain tags I pulled. And then these are some more labels see the gray and the green I think these are going to match and these are from past oh, this is yeah L, this is L, L studio and this is um Ellie Edwards and this is kind of like a tab you know it it like you put it together and it becomes a tag and then these I had typed out last year just some words on my typewriter and these I've had forever, they're falling apart, so I'm gonna use as many as I can for, well, not as many as I can, but whatever matches or matches, not ma just matches, but matches for the day that I'm documenting um, from Crepe Paper, Snow and Cocoa. And then, yeah, I did my best to only pull out the stuff that I really wanted to use or that, you know, really matched. Um, I just pulled out some washi and some skinny washi which I normally wouldn't use that much in a like six by eight album or something like that, but I know I use a lot in inserts. And then for stamps, I I don't have actually that many Christmas stamps, so I think just these two. This is all that I have, aside from the one that I just got. So I pulled those. I got these. I pulled out these alphas, and I don't have. I don't. Know, I had some, but then I didn't like the quality of it, so. I think I de-stashed it, but I don't have like, you know, the nice, like thin, long um, alphas. So I'm gonna get some of those. And then I got this, even though it's not Christmas based, just 
you know, with the Advent season and things like that. But I'm almost done, maybe. <laughs> um, I got these. These are cork, so hopefully it won't be too thick in the insert. And these are some numbers that I got from the Allie Edwards kit and some alphas. Yeah, I pull out too much stuff. Okay, anyways, um, these gold, um, these have numbers in the back, has like hearts and I thought would be cute for maybe some layering and matching. And these I had bought and then some gray alphas and then some little alphas. <laughs> and then these um, thickers type things I got because they're really thin. So, because I don't have any other big alphas that might match, um, not match, but you know, the, everything else is kind of small size. So anyways, hopefully I could use these. And then I just have my, I got, re not recently, but I finally got my hands on these little mini doilies. And then I have my tabs and I have this adhesive square label pocket. Um, because I just want like one page with some like a shaker pocket um, and then I don't know if this is gonna work but these are like the flip pockets that you can use for like the project life inserts um, but I don't know in case I want something with a flap with a picture or even for a shaker I don't know we'll see if I use this or if it's successful I'll keep you guys updated and then I also pulled some bigger paper and then some tissue paper I got and some acetate. Is it not acetate? What are these called? Anyways, I got some of these. I just call it crinkly. Um, and then these bigger pages, again with the gray and some mostly black and white um, paper to use. And the last thing I did was I had some red foil paper that I had punched stuff out of, but there were little spaces. So I cut, I punched out some hearts in two different shape, two different sizes and stars in a few different sizes. So I'm all ready um, for December daily and I hope uh, everyone's having a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.